is a school project, a uh, photography project. Bananas. I think we need like fruit. Oh, bananas would be fun. Though. Get bananas. Let's get the Polaris owners some bras. Just start walking up to Polaris owners. Here, you forgot you need, you need a training bra? Toys first or snacks first? We'll get toys. No. Nah. Toilet paper. We should TP somebody's ride. Oh, that would get messy yeah. real quick. Eh, yeah, that's a good idea. No, we'll do it like at night. And then they come out in the morning, their whole car is like just covered in toilet paper. <laughs> Damn. What happened? Haley Deegan's new YouTube. Oh, I can't even. I won't focus. <laughs> Haley Deegan's new video. What's like a necessity? Look, we can bring these for the Polaris owners. Could you imagine pulling up the bus go in one of those? Bro, I would. <laughs> Dude, <laughs> Dude, get the fuck <laughs> tell me with the X3. <laughs> Dude, how much? Are those? They're four hundred dollars. Okay, yeah. If one of my videos gets to a million views, I will buy that and take it to a mud park and drag it around. <laughs> any any video. There's one at five hundred fifty thousand. So any video. I will pay you $20 to wear those to Busco one day. One day? I can like, wear these all day. Like, for a day. <laughs> just walk out like this. To Busco? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll put the sun hat. I'll wear these with the sun hat. If you buy them. All right, let's go. We're getting them. And they're like, they look like a sun hat that they were shoes. <laughs> yes, yes. Look at one of you. That's so good. All right, guys, we're getting ready to go to Performance East because this weekend is Mud Bash. We got the uh, sun hats, we got the toys loaded up. First, we gotta make a pit stop at Performance East. If you caught the last video you saw, I literally about ripped the front wheel off of this thing. So we just got some lower control arms in from CT Raceworks. Jamie just got my uppers in at Performance East, so we're gonna go fix it there. And then we're gonna go to Mud Bash later on today. So let's go. I feel like it's busco tradition to get McDonald's. Uh, room service! <laughs> We're 18 minutes away from being at Performance East and I just got a text message that my parts arrived at Performance East to talk about perfect timing. Wow, uh, Performance East. We're just gonna drive right in the back like we work here. Look at this. Oh, oh like bucket, bucket, yeah. bucket helmet. <laughs> All right, we just spent a lot of money, bought a lot of parts. Uh, let's see how unloading this goes. Mm. <laughs> yeah, look at that. <laughs> oh, it's not even it's not even spinning. <laughs> okay, now it's spinning. Oh my god. Camera life. <laughs> yeah, that don't look too good. So we broke it. Oh, that looks freaking cool. The burnt. That's all I'm saying. All right, guys, Roman's ready for Bosco. We gotta finish up changing these brake lines because I ripped them, so now I'm gonna bleed those. CT Raceworks lower control arms. Them things are beefy. And then I got the CT Raceworks upper shock tower mount bracket because these are known to crack. I mean, look at that with the American flag and the stars. They knocked it out of the park with this logo, and their stuff is top notch. Honestly, way overkill for me, but I wanna keep riding. I don't wanna keep breaking stuff. But yeah, so these lower control arms are arched A arms, all custom CNC cut and hand welded. These things are beautiful. Honestly, it looks like a machine weld, and they're so nice. David and Daniel over at CT Raceworks helped me out, picked what I needed, and uh, got that stuff to me really, really quick. Their lead times are a little out there, but they make the absolute best thing that you can buy. All they do is can MX3. Also, I didn't go with powder coating anything because honestly, I really like the anodized aluminum, and uh, it goes with the Rear radius rods, which are also from CT Raceworks, and honestly, it's a good combo. I did just get a roof for this thing, and I kind of wish I left it uh, bare aluminum because then it would just tie everything together. Gotta get the windshield on, roof on, brakes bled, and finish putting the rest of the front of the car together. Trying to get out of here in like an hour. Dang. Uh, I need stickers. Cover the whole entire underside with stickers. I think the roof is gonna be the shiniest part of the whole, the whole unit. All right, now for the pain in the butt part. I was really mad when I realized I broke my brake line. It would have been done by now if it wasn't for the brake line. Now we have to bleed the brakes too. 
figure out how the heck that goes on. Two or three. Yes, Your my phone, phone is totally. Yeah, I know my phone's messed up. Two or three. Should I do like one of them transitions where like I snap and then it's like magically on? Right. Okay, but holy shit! Oh yeah, there's a lot of people at this event, guys. Nobody. This is nothing. Yeah, this I'm... is just the people in the parking area. This isn't even people that are camping. All right, so we just rolled up to Mud Bash finally. The Outlander is this close to breaking, very close to blowing a rear diff. I already know it, but at least we can get out of here, rip. We got a secure campsite spot. Luke's not even pointing the camera at me because he fucking sucks. Yes, I am. Mud Bash is great all for the hangout. The riding kind of sucks because there's literally so many people here. All right, guys, made it to Busco Beach, baby. We were trying to get here at two o'clock. It is now. Can't you see I'm trying to make a video here? It's now five o'clock. We're a little bit behind schedule. There's more to come, boys. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you. I put, I put a PA in the X3 because why not? The speakers right there. Like and subscribe. We got Zach out here with us today. We're gonna go find 336. We're waiting for the whole group to get here. It's Thursday night. We got here very late, so this video is gonna be probably Thursday and Friday. All right, we just got up with 336. They're wanting to go play in the water, so I'm just gonna skim it. We are not ready for this at all. We are in khakis and a polo. Luke's holding my nice camera. Don't even have a GoPro. Ah! Give me the water, I'll skim it. Zam! Oh, okay. Yep, I'm gonna just set it up. I'm Oh yeah, here it comes. It looks skimmable to me. Oh boy. Oh, that's the first blue chain am I've ever seen. Where? It's my clear. 
Hey, look! look. That's my twin! That's your rival! Ah. Twin. That thing's stock AF. Mine's more clap. This isn't fair. Bro. I gotta race my twin. I think stocks is fat. would do with the tires off the line you had me but it stayed with it the whole time you want to trade yours a little cleaner <laughs> Woo, I, was I didn't even know who that was <laughs> what's up pretty hey. yo nice side by side Mud Bash videos, they are awesome. This place is phenomenal. This is just the open pit, this isn't even the trail. Anyway guys, I'll catch you on the next one. <laughs>